Hello everybody, my name is God of Darkness 18 and welcome back to another manga video. This time I'm going to show you my monthly manga haul of July 2020. Now, in the latest news of relating to coronavirus or COVID-19, there's been more restrictions lifted. Uh, pubs or bars and restaurants are now open and many other non-essential uh, places have been reopened, but obviously with social distancing measures. And also, <laughs> One of the highlights of this sort of thing is the fact that my fiancé, who I have been seeing for the past month or so, uh, because he lives apart from me, um, we are now able to no longer, we don't need, no, we no longer need to physically distance ourselves. So it is super, super exciting and we're both really, really happy that we're able to be close again, we're able to look like a real couple. And yeah, we're happy. And but our first minister, which is like the leader of of Scotland, not the UK, but the leader of Scotland in general, the government, she says that uh, restrictions will take a little longer for this phase because it is risky. And I've seen like the risk maybe a bit too much at the moment, but not like significantly. But it's a little bit too much as new cases have have been slightly on the rise again. Thankfully no deaths, in the, but everything is looking very positive here in Scotland for the least part and yeah, we are doing very very well. Uh, so anyway, with the manga, I have collected a total of around 8 or 9 volumes and yeah, uh, some of these are a couple of orders and some of these are pre-orders. So I will get right into it and I will show you these volumes. So the first one I have is uh, something I've been anticipating and I thought, okay, I might as well say it's then, but I know what they're like sometimes, especially with like the situation that we're in. Uh, but this one I'm really, really happy to have because it is the third and final Drifting Classroom Perfect Edit by Kazuo Umez, or Umezu. Uh, if you don't know what this is about, this is a 12 year old boy called Sho Takamatsu. He has an argument with his mother and basically that argument results him into like dropping off to school because obviously he's, such in a huff, he's in such a huff and basically he goes to school and all of a sudden an earthquake happens and the, the school mysteriously disappears and all students are presumed dead. And yeah, it's a horror series and because obviously they're going to face like very dark creatures and stuff like that. It's crazy, but I've not read this yet, funnily enough. I haven't made the time to actually read it because I've just been sitting in my bed all day uh, doing stuff on YouTube. And yeah, uh, I find it... Uh, but from the first two, I find it absolutely creepy and I love it. And I can't wait to read this third one. It is a beautiful hardcover. Uh, I initially pre-ordered this... Well, I, I wasn't going to pre-order this, I thought, nah. But then I thought, you know what, I'll just pre-order it just to get the complete series. And now this series is actually complete. Because this is, like, like I say, the final one. And yeah, uh, I can't say much else about this. This is The Drifting Classroom, the perfect edit, volume number three, by Kazuo Umez. And it's by Viz Media. Okay, next is an unexpected one, and I was a little bit concerned when I ordered this initially, but it came perfectly fine. I'll explain when I show you this, and this is Ali Chino, Volume 3, by Koyu Shurei, and I believe in the past couple of videos when I got the past other two volumes, I called this mangaka Kogu. As a mistake, it's Koyu. So, yeah. Uh, the reason I was concerned about this because a few days after I ordered it and it was already shipped so I couldn't cancel it. Um, basically, uh, it said that it was, the, the on Amazon it said that this was Rebound. I was like, oh, what's Rebound? I mean, I looked it up. It's basically like a paperback to make look like a hardback in a way. So it's a hardback paperback in a way. It's confusing, but yeah, I was really concerned. But when it came, it was not hard covered, so... Yep, it's your standard one and obviously if you see the top there it's a Tokyo Pop title and you know I love me some Tokyo Pop titles uh, but yeah uh, this is actually the final volume that I needed to complete the series and I'm really really happy that I finally got this because I found a deal for it for about £2.70 or something like that and yeah free sh free delivery as well so I can't complain and I was going to get this um, 
between the 20, excuse me, the 22nd or the 27th and of July, obviously, and I got it on the 22nd, so happy days. I am, um, like I say, this is now complete. I don't know much about the series from what I gathered from the first volume. It's about these beautiful creatures called Alicino and this, this boy or young man, we'll see when I read it, uh, called Sugiri. Uh, comes across one of these and yeah and th there may be impending danger from these beautiful creatures dun 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 we'll see how it goes and yeah i'm super happy to have this like i say final volume out of ali chino volume three by koyu shure and it's by tokyo pop next up is another volume i wanted to complete a certain series and i'm super happy i'm gonna i've actually completed this series because it wasn't that long a series and i had almost all the volumes as it was and i just needed that one volume but now i finally got it so here it is um i have juni tyson zodiac war volume four by akira akatsuki nishiyoshi and hikaru nakamura and you've got the obviously got this guy here he not a lot of clothing but that's okay i suppose and just shows that manga is essentially not for underage people, so to speak. But yeah, this was the final volume. I've already got the, the um, first three volumes. I've got one and two like on this corner here. I've got three up here. But I finally got volume four. This is actually the final volume. Uh, I don't know much about this, but from what I gather as well from reading this, it's basically like human personified versions of the Chinese Zodiac and they go out in an all-out battle royale and whoever wins gets a prize or something like that I can't remember but yeah I don't know who this may represent maybe cat or rabbit I don't, I don't know I'll read it and find out but yeah this guy looks pretty uh, promiscuous with what he's wearing but that's something part of the fun uh, but yeah, I can't really say much else about this. This is uh, Juni Tyson Zodiac War, Volume 4, by Akira Akatsuki Nishiyoshin and Hikaru Nakamura. Next up is another one I wanted to catch up on because I'm I'm a little bit behind on it. Actually, I'm, I was only one volume behind, but I've decided I'll order another one because, you know, I like the series and why not continue it? So... The next volume I have is My Hero Academia Vigilantes, Volume 7 by Hideyuki uh, Furuhashi, Betancourt, and the original concept, obviously, by Kohei Horikoshi. And I actually have all the other six volumes up here. So, yeah, I'm now up to date on this series. And, yeah, this is follows, it's in the same universe as My Hero Academia. Uh, but it follows, like, these vigilantes who are not registered heroes, so they're basically villains and stuff like that. It follows uh, someone... Well, yeah, there is some, like a whole bunch of them, but it follows one main character. I can't remember his name on top of my head, but he he wants to become a hero, and then he because he has a, he has a quirk, but he's not a registered hero, and yeah, he meets these other people that are like that, and yeah, it's a lot of fun, and it's almost on par to the original My Hero Academia, and it actually features characters from that series as well, but. I'm not going to spoil it because uh, it's, it's spoilers, obviously, but yeah, it, it does contain characters from My Hero Academia because it is in the same universe. And yeah, I can't wait to carry on reading this. This is um, My Hero Academia Vigilantes Volume 7 by Hideyuki Furuhashi and Betancourt, and the original concept, obviously, by Kohei Horikoshi. Oh, yeah, and Junior Tyson's Zodiac War, as well as My Hero Academia Vigilantes, is by Viz Media. Next up is a pre-order and my second and last pre-order of this month and I got it on the same day I got Ali Chino Volume 3 funnily enough which was a day early than it was supposed to be released here in the United Kingdom so that was a bit bizarre but regardless I have it and I'm super super happy because it's a milestone volume I would probably call it because it is Volume 20 of One Punch Man by One and Yusuke Murata. Uh, yeah, I love this series so much. I'm pretty sure I'll love the artwork because I've not read this. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super excited to read this. Um, this follows a man called Saitama. Uh, is he in the cover in this one? Nope, it doesn't look like he is. Uh, it vo follows a guy called Saitama who's bald and basically he 
wants to find a challenge for himself because every single uh, foe he defeats, he beats in one punch. And it's brilliant. When I first when I got the first volumes of this, um, I thought, what? That sounds ridiculous. But when, when I started reading it, I thought it was funny. I thought it was creative. And I thought the artwork was fantastic. And I've actually got some of the volumes here, 13 to 19. So it will be going across there. And I'm super, super excited to continue the series. And yeah, that's all I'll really say about this. It's One Punch Man Volume 20 by One and Yusuke Murata. As by Viz Media. And the last volume I have is something I am a little bit behind on, but I got the final volume to continue the series because I want to keep up to date the series, but I don't really trust this, the publisher as much as I love them. But regardless, I have it, and it is The Girl from the Other Side, Shula Rune, Volume 8 by Nagabe. This follows a, a girl called Shiva who's on this bed here. And she's basically looking after this demon-like creature called Teach. She calls Teacher, and basically he can't touch her unless she'll turn into one of them. So, and um, I think she might be an orphan. So, um, he's watching over her, watching over her, and he's uh, um, looking after her, cooking for her, doing stuff with her, obviously without touching her. And yeah, it's f fantastic. When I first picked this up, I thought, okay, let's read this, and well. I I wasn't too sure about the fairy tale sort of aspect to it, but not like fairy tale from Hero Machine, like a fairy tale like Cinderella or something like that. I wasn't keen on that at first, but I when I ended up reading it, I fell in love with it. So yeah, this is um yeah, the girl from the other side, Shula Rune Volume Eight, and it's from Seven Seas. And like I say, the reason I don't really want to, I don't really trust them, even though I like this, I like Seven Seas, is because um uh normally when um a pre a, a new release comes out for a seven seas manga along with a couple of other publishers it says that it's not available for a certain amount of time so i don't know if they're going to fix that or if it's been fixed i've not noticed but i don't want to take the risk again but the only and the only unfortunate thing as well is i don't know if it'll be show show yeah i'll show you on camera this little fold here came when i when it came i mean it doesn't bother me but uh, in a way it does because obviously it's folded and but it doesn't affect like the overall reading I can, I can still read it and yeah I can't wait to read this one because again I've not read it but I, I I'm super happy to have this and finally be up to date to this series and this is uh, The Girl from the Other Side Shula Rune by Nagabe volume 8 and that is it. That is my manga haul for the month of July. I, and this is also, I should have also mentioned at the start, that it's the second half of the first, first month of the second half of 2020. And it's absolute madness that we're in this time. Because not long or around the time I put this up, it will be August. That is crazy. How is it almost at the end of the year already? This year has been mad. It's been... But I'm I'm not going to go into that. It's still early days. But yeah, thank you again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this and you enjoyed my manga haul. If you did, uh, subscribe for more manga content. And I'm trying to get some more manga content out there. And also uh, comment some series that you want me to read. I'll try and get them. But my shelf is running low on space. I still haven't invested in another shelf. I will try my hardest to do what I do best and providing manga content for you and yeah thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now